you have a story tip, call the WMC Action News 5 investigators at 866-518-9082. New here at 10, grave mistakes at a Memphis cemetery forced state regulators to issue fines and order a cleanup. The complaints range from sunken graves and double-sold plots to misspelled markers and missing maps. Felicia Bolton has tonight's WMC Action News 5 investigation. The day Teresa Glazer's mother passed away, time seemed to stop for this Mid-South native. Weeks later, her grief only worsened when she discovered this. Her mother's tombstone at Memorial Park Southwoods, engraved with the wrong last name. It was terrible because I felt like they were disrespecting my mom. That's my mom. You know, that's the one person you're with your whole life before you're born. And then for them to do that to her, it was... It was heartbreaking. Her mom, Pauline Willis Adams, headstone read Pauline White, one of several mistakes Glacier says the cemetery made. Where did they get white from? I have no idea. She says the problems didn't start with the wrong name. Months prior, she says her mother's name wasn't on the gravesite at all. And to make matters worse, she says her mother's grave actually sank. It sank down for a while, and they did fix that after I told them about it. And, and then when I went in to tell them that the name was on there, but it was wrong, they were shocked that it was wrong. A Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance disciplinary report obtained by WMC Action News 5 investigators reveals the state fine Memorial Park Southwoods in January $2,800 for failure to maintain a properly updated master map, a number of sunken graves, and failure to properly maintain the cemetery grounds. Documents also revealed the company failed to properly record cemetery lot sales, which resulted in double sold lots. The civil penalty requires the cemetery show proof of better upkeep going forward. We went with Glacier to visit her mother's gravesite after the company paid their fine and said they would provide better maintenance. Her mother's grave is still not covered in grass, only dirt, and leaves at the headstone. And the grave directly beside her mom's is sucking in. I got the runaround for so long that I was just frustrated through the whole thing. The WMC Action News 5 investigators have been in contact with a representative of the cemetery who responded to the state's disciplinary action. Vice President of Administration Frank Miles did not provide a response to our investigation by deadline. He did, however, send this letter to the State Department back in January. It reads in part, the company has made a concerted effort to level off and backfill all sunken graves. And we have instituted a procedure so that all new burials are tracked. He stated proof that the cemetery has complied in this matter will be apparent. Glacier feels the company still needs to do more. Just put some grass up there, make it, make it right. Take care of it like they're supposed to. For the WMC Action News 5 investigators, I'm Felicia Bolton. 11 Tennessee funeral homes or cemeteries were cited or fined during the latest round of state inspections. To read the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance's disciplinary report, click on the link with this investigation at WMCActionNews5.com. Our share of rain here in the Mid-South, but parts of California are under a state of emergency after the region was drenched by heavy rains this week. The downpours caused flooding and forced dozens of residents to leave their homes. Nearly 200 people had to be rescued in San Jose, where rescuers worked around the clock to move people to safety, often going door to door. And there's not a 